When I was 25 years old, I was a healthy third year medical student, driven to a career fighting the cancer that had killed my mom. I had big plans when suddenly I became seriously ill. I spent several months in the ICU with multiple organ system failure, getting my tail beat by a mysterious illness. I even received my last rites, recovered, relapsed, and then pulled through again. I nearly lost my life to Castleman disease, a disease that few people have ever even heard of, a disease that has no cure and is so deadly because too little research has been done. I returned to medical school on a mission to change that and to honor my mom in a way that I knew would make her proud. I promised my wife and sisters that I would dedicate my life, however long that may be, to trying to cure this disease for myself and for others. But I knew I couldn't do it alone, so I started the Castleman Disease Collaborative Network, a global initiative of physicians, researchers, patients, and loved ones teaming up to knock out Castleman disease. There are thousands of people courageously battling Castleman's disease, just like Dave. I was diagnosed when I found a large lymph node swollen in my neck. My internist, my ENT, my doctor had no idea what Castleman's disease was. My son, Christopher, was having issues with his stomach. The doctor just kept telling us to treat it as a virus, and we knew something wasn't right. And after his biopsy of his lymph node, they concluded it was Castleman's. And then through research online, I came upon the CDCN, and we met David Fagenbaum. The doctors came up with a plan, and we are doing good now. I think that many uh, Castleman patients would agree that most doctors are not aware of this, um, and many people are not aware of this. Very odd symptoms, and everyone seems to be different. Having gone through this process for four years at a stalemate, and without being connected with Dr. Fagenbaum and CDCN, I would have never been put in touch with the right people to make the right tests and the right diagnosis. I was diagnosed after four weeks of being sick. It started with what I thought was a flu, and they did the lymph node biopsy, which conclusively diagnosed me with Castleman's disease. With uh, Dr. Fagenbaum's advice and help from the CDCN, we'll begin a maintenance program because it looks like I'm going into remission. Castleman's disease is as common as ALS. There are three major subtypes, two of which are more deadly than lymphoma. It's very challenging. Patients often are misdiagnosed initially with other diseases. In Castleman's disease, the immune system attacks the body's vital organs in a very relentless fashion, shutting them down. Castleman's disease, it's a deadly disease, and there is hope. We are making significant progress in developing diagnostic criteria, doing research to identify genetic mutations, and also, more importantly, building clinical networks. In fact, we built a remarkable network which completely changed our understanding of Castleman's disease. But more studies are needed. Though I've had multiple life-threatening relapses, I'm currently in my longest remission ever, thanks to a drug that had never been used for Castleman's before, which I identified myself through CDC and research. We invite you to join our network of Castleman Warriors. And answer our challenge to raise money to help fund important research that will save lives like Dave's and mine. Or if you are a patient, consider giving blood or tissue samples. It's a simple process. And patients' lives depend on it. Visit cdcn.org to learn more about Castleman disease and how you can help move the needle. Simply, Castleman disease is the most deadly, most common disease that you've never heard of. But together, we can turn promising research into permanent cures.